for this project, we are upcycling or reusing pieces from various food product boxes. And you may recognize some of these brands. So what you want to do first is to cut your boxes into half inch strips. So I've already gone and done that. And now we're going to start using these for a upcycled art project. With your cereal box pieces or other food box pieces cut into strips, you are ready to start making a upcycled art mosaic. To do that, you're going to choose colors based off of an image that you want to create. So if I'm making a sunset over the water, I'm going to want to use pieces that have blue and then probably yellow and orange and things like that. So to do that, what I want to do is decide on how big a piece I want. So I already know that I want to work small. So this is a piece that was already cut. And once I have one already cut, I can use that as a measurement to get uniform size. So I'm going to take a pencil and just draw a line of how wide I want this to be. And you're going to do that over and over. Uh, and just be aware of what patterns might be on the other side. So if you think that it's going into the white writing and you don't want that, you don't need to keep making your lines. You just want to cut off the parts you'll, you'll use. So you're going to use your scissors and cut off the pieces that you know you're going to use. and you can start making a supply of the colors you're going to need, or you can cut them as you are working so that you don't have a lot of small pieces. Now, what you can also do is if you know that maybe you want to work even smaller, you can cut these in half and then work with smaller squares. So it really depends on how small you want to work on your design. Younger students, you might want to work with bigger pieces. Older students could get into really small mini uh, tessera, little cardboard tessera tiles. Okay, so I have here a box um, that is upcycled from a previous video and I've drawn my design on it and I've started placing my cut pieces. They are not glued down yet. I'm just planning out my design. So once you have some pieces placed that you know that's definitely where they're going to go, then you can go ahead and start flipping them over and gluing them down. I'm using some white glue that I'm just putting in a small cap. Um, that's a good way to dispense this. And I'm going to apply it with a cotton swab. You could also use a small paintbrush and then just um, work on your design. So I'm going to start turning these over and gluing them down. Now as you glue them down, because we want this to look like a mosaic, we're not putting them right up against each other. You want to leave a little bit of a space around it to imitate what would look like a grout line. It's a very slow process to complete the entire design carefully and precisely. I'll check back in when it's complete. Okay, so now this is completely finished. Let me tell you a little bit about what I did to it and how long it took. So the last time we looked at this, I was just adding some of these blue and white squares and then I finished off with the blue and then I went for really small, skinny rectangle cuts up at the top here, 
followed by yellow triangle cuts and then wider rectangles at the bottom with little triangles to fill in the gaps. Now, each of these sections took quite a while. I would say to get all of these glued down was probably about three hours time because I did work really small and really focused on the details. If my pieces were bigger, it probably would have gone a lot faster if I worked with just one size of um, cardboard piece, little tile, it would have gone a little faster. So this would be for your more advanced students if they want to work with detail. After you get these all glued down and you let the glue dry, I let it dry overnight, I sealed the entire thing with matte Mod Podge. This gets everything really secured. It also gives it a really nice finish. So you can see there's a little sheen and it makes it look really polished and finished. So there is our project and you can now use it to store things inside this box.